hey what's up well making a video um had our thanksgiving dinner um this is pretty much the only day i'll be able to wear a thankful shirt that i've been wearing since we lived in the apartment um i think it's what 21 2 3 so i guess my third year to wear it um and I just want to talk about that, about being thankful. And, you know, it's Thanksgiving. And um, I'm actually pretty sorry that it's over, you know, because um, I've gotten to the point where I actually like Thanksgiving a little better than Christmas. Um, you know, just for the simple reason that it's further from the end of the year. And um, it can be cold. You know, unfortunately around here, um, we don't have snow on either one, but it can be very cold. Sometimes it's colder on Thanksgiving than Christmas. Sometimes it's colder on Easter than Christmas. That's how messed up this place is. Um, and so was Texas. But, um, you know, just want to talk about that, about Thanksgiving and, um, you know, just, just that and how it's just, you know, it's getting to be so, um, well, it, it's really going to mess with my head next year, you know, when I'm 41. Um, because right now, you know, because my sixth grade year is now 28 years in the past, the calendar is identical. It's pretty much identical to, you know, when it comes to holidays, like, um, you know, like, the Friday the 13th and Christmas and all that, they're identical to the year 95-96. Um, and of course, next year will be identical to 96-97. And I've already talked about how that was a very emotional, emotionally turbulent year for me. Um, so, you know, but I mean, that's just simple math. You know, because there are exactly 1,461 weeks in 28 years. You know, because that's how many days are in four years. You know, it just can't help but be identical when it comes to the calendar. And so Thanksgiving was November 23rd in the sixth grade. And it went all the way ahead to the 28th when I was in the seventh grade, making it what, 53 weeks later or something like that. Yeah, that's what happened because it was a leap year. And the earliest it could have happened would have been the 22nd. And so we skipped over that. And because it can't happen the 21st, because that would only be the third Thursday, it went all the way ahead to the 28th, making it, um, three, um, well, making it 53 weeks in the future instead of 52. Okay, so, and, you know, I happen to be sick with a cold in the seventh grade. That was, as I stated before, one of the four colds, which, of course, the fourth one being Friday, May 2nd, 1997. <laughs> I've repeated it way too many times to ever forget. Um, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't remember it better if it were tattooed on my arm. That's how well I remember it. Um, but, yeah, it's like, I think I'm pretty sure. I don't know much about my elementary years. But I'm pretty sure that my 7th grade year was the only year that I didn't have a cold. Around Christmas or in the month of December. And that's because Thanksgiving was so late. And it happened around that time instead. So I was technically still getting over it in December. Monday, December 1st. Uh, so, you know, it, it's, just, it's just impossible to forget. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure that every year in grades 8 through 12, both my sister and I had a cold in the month of December. And, of course, the reason I got them is because of her. And, um, 
I'm pretty sure the next year that I wouldn't have one in the month of December and it, neither would she would be um, another year where Christmas was a Wednesday and there was a Friday the 13th which was 2002 so it was very similar in that way as well I had colds pretty much around the same time of year of all things so I don't know you know maybe it's just something in my head about the calendar you know it just it just tells my body to behave in a certain way in response to it well anyway what I want to talk about is how um, I'm gonna unbox this last mermaid doll which I kind of debated on getting her you know because I just have so many blonde Chelsea dolls that um you know perhaps if she had bright yellow hair um, perhaps I'd have wanted her more. You know, I debated for the longest time. Do I really want her? Do I not? She should have had bright yellow hair and purple eyes to make her more unique. Okay. And these other three, these other mermaids, you know, I have the boy. I have that girl. I have the redhead whose hair is actually pink. Then I have... The, um, the other girl with the dark blue hair that almost looks black. So, what really makes me mad about these mermaids is how they package them with their tail off. Thinking that somehow it's easier, um, easier to transport them or something I don't know it's just like the dolls without the heads on Timu and so here's this mermaid without a fin or it's, it's a fin it's not the tail they, they package it with the fin off the tail um so there she is she's got an ombre tail is what's that that's called ombre when it's like a gradient of two colors um so there she is, Blonde Mermaid Chelsea. And then this one also has a purple and turquoise ombre tail. And this one's just two shades of pink. Anyway, so there's our little mermaid. And, you know, there's an empty box. But what I'd like to talk about in this video is just, you know, just how we're getting into the holiday season. Um, there's my Christmas tree and my shopping cart. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but I temporarily put it on top of the dryer where it will not stay. And that's my little shopping cart with some fake presents in it. I'm going to display that somewhere. Um, but what I'd like to talk about in this video is how, you know, I'm just, just really not all that happy anymore. I'm not happy like I used to be um, about the holiday season, you know, now that it's Black Friday, you know, Thanksgiving and Halloween are, are in the past and, you know, they already had a Christmas section, but it's just going to be nothing but that. And when you have an early Thanksgiving like that, it gives you a longer holiday season, so to speak. <clears throat> by about a week you get a longer holiday season um you know it's over 30 days let's see what today's the 24th so yeah like 31 days um so you get 31 days instead of what um maybe more like um, I guess 27 or, or I don't know, 26. Like, let's say you had a Thanksgiving <clears throat> that was November 28th, so it already be the 29th. And so, yeah, you get maybe 26 days until Christmas if you had a late Thanksgiving, which I much prefer a late Thanksgiving because it feels like a longer autumn. You know, you get to keep your pumpkins out longer. And, um, but you have a shorter holiday season, you know, and so, I mean, you can shop for Christmas in the middle of July. I mean, there's no rule that says you have to only shop after Thanksgiving, but, um, 
I guess, I don't know, perhaps that was why my seventh grade year was so depressing. It was because we had a late Thanksgiving and it seemed like the holidays just kind of flew by um, in comparison to the year before. And then, you know, before you knew it, it was already January and we were going back to school. It was very cold. And as I've stated before, I got yet another cold around Martin Luther King Day. And, you know, then of course I wouldn't get another one until May, as I've talked about before. Um, but I just wanted to talk about how um, it's just really not all that, not all that happy for me anymore. Because, like, I feel like the time just passes too quickly anyway. I feel like it, you know, it's like you just, you turn around and... You're already halfway through the year and then you turn around again and it's a new year um you know time just doesn't drag on anymore um but it's just so depressing that um you know i just it just really it, it just doesn't have the excitement and i'm really not happy about you know home alone season and as i've stated before you know what i hate the most about home alone you know, it isn't the guy getting hit in the head with a paint can. It isn't the guy getting burned with a blowtorch. It isn't the guy stepping on a nail. It isn't the fact that they get to have snow and we don't down here in the South. But the thing that I hate the most about Home Alone is just three lines in a song. about that song but you know it's just I don't know it just it makes me well up you know I mean I could chop a whole onion and my eyes wouldn't well up like you know those three words in that song all the music all the magic all the family home here with me and for some reason that that third line you know it just gets me you know, it just hits me really hard and that's why you know like if I never see home alone again you know, I will have seen it way too many times, you know, just like, you know, other things I've talked about. Um, I just don't care, you know, to ever see Home Alone again because it just doesn't make me happy. You know, it reminds me of the fact that my childhood is just another year further in the past. And, um, you know, that line about all the family, you know, when I think about how my dad just threw away his family with both hands by divorcing my mom, you know, it, could, it just can't help but put a lump in my throat and make my eyes burn. Um, you know, the fact that I'll never have a family, you know, in the traditional sense because I physically can't reproduce and I mentally never wanted to, you know, and my family consists of a bunch of plastic toys, um, and the best thing I have to look forward to is going to see my mom and playing with her cat. You know, when a cat is my favorite living creature in this world, you know, that's pretty freaking sad. And so when I hear that song, you know, it just makes my eyes burn. And you know, I just, I just hate the movie for that reason. I hate it because that's the theme song of the movie. And I just don't like to feel that way. I do not like to get emotional and cry, you know. Because I've just always had this fantasy in my head that I'm Superman. You know, not only... You see, with me, it was never... The thing that people don't understand, and this is one of the reasons why I'm not on testosterone and would not like to pursue that. The thing about me is it never was just about being a man, so to speak, but about being a superhero. You know, not just any kind of man. You know, not just plain old ordinary John Doe average with two or three kids and a wife and bills to pay and a house and a car that's too expensive for him. No, it was, you know, I've always had this fantasy in my mind that I am Superman. Um, and there's this name in the book of Daniel. I might put the verse 
um, where you'd find it, but this name, and it's a very complex reason as to why I wanted that name for myself, because it pertains to my real name, and the reason I don't want to say that is, you know, because it's a, a very uncommon name for girls, but this name that I wanted is an, un, an even less common biblical name for boys. And, you know, all I can tell you is that, you know, the one thing I hate about it, or one of the things I hate about it is because, like, you know, I love to do this thing, this litscape thing where you type anybody's name and you see how many words you can make with the letters scrambled in the name. Well, this name, it's a very short two-syllable name, just like my name in real life, but unfortunately, if only my name were Veronica. I wish it were Veronica, but unfortunately it isn't. But I have a very unique two-syllable name that no other girl had at my school. And it made me feel like an outcast or a freak. And it has something to do with me being obsessed with cults. Um, through the sixth grade and a little into seventh, a cold was just mundane ordinary thing like it is with everybody else but then something you know something went off in my head in seventh grade and it deals with my name and how it pertains to the common cold and um so you know I've just always had this fantasy about like that I'm superhuman or I don't even know how to explain it I'm not just an ordinary man in a woman's body I'm a superhero in a woman's body and you know like, the only reason, like, I really want to be a man is because women, girls and women are just not associated with being superheroes. You know what I'm saying? Both the hero and the villain are and should be male. Um, so, you know, women are like the prize to be won. The mermaid doll. Um, and so, you know, I just didn't see the female role as being strong or, you know what I'm saying? We're not allowed to be quirky or different. Um, and the only one of my mom's siblings who didn't marry and have a bunch of kids was her gay brother. So he was the only one I really looked up to in our family in the way of not having kids because nearly every woman I knew, nearly every teacher either had kids or probably would in the future. You know what I'm saying? The few teachers that didn't have kids were usually young, and they would later on. Um, so, you know, I had this fantasy about being male because I see myself as being superhuman, like too good to be a woman, I guess. Um, not so much that I want to be a man as much as I want to be superhuman and, you know, not have signs of weakness like crying but what's ironic is that one of the few words you can make when you scramble up the letters in this two-syllable male name is cry. Like, you can find the word cry in that name and not many other words. Just like my name is so short and simple that it doesn't have many words in it. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, you know, realistically, I don't know. I just, I just guess, I guess I'm just running from the person that I actually am and you know I guess that that's why trans people are never truly happy because they're running away from something not towards something um they're running away from the shame that is associated with being female in my case crying you know it was just something like I don't like being a female because you know women are known to cry like you know, people like to say that men are the strong ones who don't cry. What they fail to understand is that women don't want to cry either. We just can't help it. You know what I'm saying? We don't have the ability not to cry. It's not that we want to. It's just that we don't have the ability to resist crying as much as men do. And uh, so, anyway, this video is way too long. But, you know, there's my blonde mermaid doll, you know. I don't know, it's just like I felt like I had too many other kinds of dolls. You know, I had two ethnic or Hispanic looking dolls and a boy and a redhead or a pink head 
that are white and a younger baby. So I wanted a blonde. Um, so anyway, I'll go ahead and post this video and I'll end with some AI pictures of what flounder would look like as a merman instead of a fish.